Hi, uh, in this tutorial, I'll I'll explain you what are the new new features and functionalities which are there in OBA 12C. Good. The first change is uh, the first change which you can see in the analytics is uh, as soon as you log in, if you open your, any of the dashboard, uh, the dashboard will look in this format. So earlier we have a fusion effects uh, theme now we have a new inter new theme to display the dashboard as you can see here graphs are rendered in more complex way uh, more compact view so which will help the user uh, uh, to display more information and uh, second is uh, the analysis uh, this is this is how uh, analysis will look like with the with every features and third change is uh, home page home page is uh, almost it is similar to the existing one only except the theme part and you can see the recent uh, recent open uh, analysis and dashboards in this section and most popular in this section and these are all uh, as same as uh, uh, 11g and uh, here you can see the jobs and the extra features which are there in 11g like uh, downloading uh, admin tool those uh, those unwanted things on all is removed from this area especially uh, and uh, they have introduced a new concept called content search wherein you can search uh, uh, measures also from the analytics page itself let's say if you want to find out the revenue revenue related uh, analyt, uh, measures so just type revenue and here you can see revenue by state revenue by state quarterly revenue everything including the measures it will search that is what it means as content search and data search and uh, sometimes you need to search with respect to data and here that is also being provided in the new OBA 12c features and one more thing they have introduced called sorting 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 is already existing in in 11g and 10g as well uh, the big difference is that uh, in chart you don't have the sorting functionality to be implemented now they have introduced the concept of sorting uh, wherein uh, after displaying the data you can use a certain functionality to display uh, like this so here if you see the first uh, chart this is already sorted uh, with the name with the product name uh, after applying the sorting group as revenue from high to low the graph has been changed based on the revenue as you can see the revenue falls down for each project each product till here and one more thing they have introduced a new view called the heat matrix view and sometimes this heat matrix view is very useful wherein when you want to concentrate more about the data uh, where it is highly uh, uh, it's like data finding it's one of the view which will be used uh, to find uh, more data where, where it is allocated and all so as you can see here in this report let's say if this is the revenue uh, budget allocated for the uh, uh, for uh, let's say if this is the budget allocated for the 12 months and the week uh, weeks respectively as you can see in the seventh month for that first week we have allocated more budget you can uh, you can find the uh, you can find and the answers for more analysis in this way and one more big change is that uh, so when you open an analysis uh, it's if you want to see the properties of that view if you click uh, when you click on the edit button inside that view uh, what it happened is uh, what it's happening is and the earlier stages is uh, it will open a new window and uh, in that th it will open the properties now in the compound layout view only if you click as soon as you click on the edit view there only the properties tab will be enabled so that it will reduce your time in developing the report 
and easier maintenance so and uh, this data visualization uh, they have introduced the concept of uh, merging excel sheet data with the actual analysis report let's say earlier we used to have these kinds of reports uh, let's say if you want the data to be displayed from the data warehouse as well as the data which is con yeah, which is uh, containing in excel no need to go and uh, develop this changes in the repository as you can directly pull this data along with the data which is displaying in the data warehouse this is also called as data mashup and in the repository there have been uh, some few changes uh, in the aggregated persistence uh, wizard uh, you can add the where clause and fetch the necessary details uh, for example fetching the current year sales data and in the time dimension they have introduced a concept of sequencing and also some improved calculations has been Im uh, which is i mean the sequence uh, will improve the calculations with respect to uh, time series functions and uh, in the installations you can as you can see there are many changes have been done uh, in 12c first of all the down uh, software uh, and now it is very few as uh, files and smaller download rc is already included in the software which you are downloading no need to download separate rcu and and in the installer install only configuration will be done separately earlier we used to do oh, in a single step uh, uh, we used to install and configure obae as well now it is not like that uh, first you have to install software only application and then uh, you need to configure using config.sh and create repository database repository well, it is same uh, there is not been much changes generate scripts to be run by dpa later both are similar and in the domain uh, it's full offline configuration results in faster connection to the do domain and scale out command line uh, scripts to clone domain they have introduced uh, some command line scripts uh, to clone the entire domain this is not much clear as of now uh, we'll see it in later classes as you can see uh, the cluster uh, installation have been changed earlier uh, let's say if you have two clusters in one in in the first cluster you will be having one directory data directory instances service instance again here and in the server 2 also you will be having the service instance here as well but now that is that has been uh, removed as as they were maintaining a single server is instance which will connect to the both both the applications in this way and they have removed some features uh, BA system user is not there anymore and no more security GUI these problems uh, uh, we have been seeing a lot of problems uh, related to GUIDs let's say refreshing the GUIDs uh, to resolve some of the issues which in turn will change the date uh, and uh, modified date of each and every report to the date which you are, when you are running refresh GUIDs date so this feature is been removed and these are the changes uh, so far we have come across uh, we will see like we will see some other changes uh, later in in later in later classes thank you for watching